Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about fragrances that you shouldn't buy. Now and that is because of different reasons, or girls don't like it, or I don't like it, the performance sucks, or there are just better options out there. All right, now this is a hot topic. Every time I do videos like these, I have like people that unfollow me <laughs> because I don't like a fragrance that they like. Ooh. <laughs> Ah, the world has gotten very sensitive. Now, gentlemen, grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position. And let's get into it. Now, the first fragrance you shouldn't buy is Le Labo Santal 33. Oh, disgusting. I don't know how you can wear this stuff. It smells like a rat cage or something like that with pee in it. Or like a jar of pickles and you smell that. Oh man, ew. Now the main note that you smell in the Labo is sandalwood. Now, I, I, not, I'm not really a fan of sandalwood, but if sandalwood is mixed with much more notes, then I like it. So instead of getting Santal 33, go for BDK Gris Chanel Extrait. Yes, this is worth of your money and it's still a sandalwood heavy fragrance but then with more layers to it this is a very sweet creamy sandalwood with vanilla iris and the sexy cardamom <whistles> now listen those notes combined this on a guy is amazing 10 times better than santal 33 so definitely try this one out bdk gris charnel extract and now gentlemen before we continue with the video everybody has its own opinion everybody has its own skin i'm a female you are a man age body temperature where you live everything depends on who you are where you live and everything so i always advise you to try before you buy always try them out yourself now guys you can try Try like 90% of the fragrances that I'm talking about on the website Sensplit. You should get your samples there because simply they are the number one website to buy decans of. And you can also get there a 10% discount with my code CURLY. Sensplit is an online perfume store specialized in niche fragrances and they ship worldwide. They provide samples, which is a smart way of trying expensive niche fragrances. They also sample some popular designer fragrances and they only have 100% authentic fragrances. Guys, this way you can try 10 different niche fragrances for the same price as one full bottle. This is the perfect way to discover if these fragrances are something for you. And now they use high quality spraying bottles and they offer samples in one milliliter, two milliliter, five milliliter and nine milliliter. And they also offer full bottles at a retail price but on that you can use my code curly as well to get a 10% off. Now 90% of the fragrances I am talking about today Sensplit have so try them out now linked in the description. Okay the second fragrance you should get is Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. Now not because it doesn't smell good or that I don't like it. But it shit is just too expensive and it doesn't last. So what do you do? You get a clone of it. Lazuli from Al Watania. This stuff smells exactly the same. It's like one tenth of the price and you get a hundred milliliter of it. And in my opinion, the bottle is even better. Heavy cap, nice metal plaque or something like that. Boom get the clone. But if you want a fragrance that is worth the high price tag and smells like Neroli or citrus the whole day and you get a hundred milliliter of it and the oil concentration is 40% is Profumum Roma Aqua Viva. This one. Oh, listen, you should try fragrances from Profumum Roma because they are so high in quality and they last the whole day. This citrus will last you the whole day. And there is a slight, slight smokiness to it as well, which smells luxurious. Definitely try this one out. All right, guys. Now, the next one you shouldn't get is Parfums de Marley Layton. The reason why you shouldn't get it is because every time I talk about this fragrance with how amazing it is, and I still think 
It is amazing, my badge. A lot of you guys say that they have been reformulated and the longevity is not where near as what it used to be. Now that can happen because I know that the owner has sold the company and most of the times when owner sell their company, it turns to shit. So instead of this one, you should get Supers Budapest 1723. This fragrance has definitely the latent DNA, but then they have put it in a new jacket. They have amped up the performance. They have made it smell younger but that heavy old school vibe is not in here this smells better and they have put more ambroxan in this as well so this one projects more lasts longer they've made it more younger and overall better if you want that latent vibe back and on their official website supers.com i have a discount code for you guys it is curly 10 for 10 percent off now but another fragrance that is even better than latent and has like it has a vibe of it, but it goes into its own direction, which is Ajmal Amberwood. <sighs> Longevity, projection, out of this world, and a more luxurious-ish kind of a latent, with a Middle Eastern vibe to it as well. In this one, you also get cardamom, apple, pepper, lavender, a lot of woody notes, added with an orris note that gives it that luxurious vibe to it. Definitely check out Amberwood. Now, the next fragrance you shouldn't buy is of course Dior Sauvage. Now, not because it smells bad or anything. It smells fantastic. It smells very manly. It smells very fresh. This fragrance lasts long, but oh, everybody wears it. Every time I go out, I smell this on a guy and in my opinion there are many more amazing fragrances out there than this one because if you wear this you basically smell like everybody else now if you want to upgrade on dior sauvage this one get Kajal Faris. This is basically Dior Sauvage, elevated with higher quality, longer lasting even, but then with a sour cocktail margarita added to it. That's what this one is. So it gives it a little bit of a unique twist. So basically, if you like Dior Sauvage and you like the smell of it, get this one to be a little bit more unique. But to be more unique, get this one. Gisada Ambassador. This one gets even more compliments than Dior Sauvage and people will compliment you and will ask you, hey, what are you wearing? Instead of, are you wearing Dior Sauvage? Yeah, yeah, it's good. No, they will ask you, what are you wearing? And then you wear this Gisada Ambassador. You smell different, unique. It is sweeter. It is more tropical. Basically, it smells like three fragrances. It smells like Dior Sauvage. It smells like Zurge of Erbapura and it smells like Armani Stronger Review. If you would mix that together, then you would get this. So it smells niche and designer-ish together. Don't get Montal Chocolate Greedy. Oh my God, that was a fragrance that I tested on myself. I smelled it and it literally went like, oh no, it's, it is too realistic. You still want to smell like a fragrance and not too realistic like you have came from a cheap chocolate factory because it smells like cheap chocolates actually. If you want a chocolatey-ish kind of a fragrance, then get this one. Profumum Roma Sorriso. This smells like those cacao butter things that you... How do you say that? It smells like a cacao butter that you put on your skin. That is what this one smells like, but then luxurious. It smells more like a fragrance, more like a product, you know, instead of like realistic food. This stuff is super sexy on a man. And again, this is a Profumum Roma. So you have 40% of oil that is in here. And this one lasts super long and projects like a mofo. And you only need like max five sprays with all of their fragrances because they are beast mode. Try this one out. Don't get Moschino Toy Boy. Yeah. It smells like an old grandma's rose fragrance, like a sour rose fragrance. I have had this fragrance because I believed the hype online. Oh my God, I had it on my skin, disgusting. I thought maybe it is my skin and I was a personal trainer back in the day. I sprayed it on all my male clients. They hated me for it. On nobody, it smelled good. On nobody, it was disgusting. But if you are a guy and you want a good rose fragrance, then get these ones instead. Get Montal Intense Roses Musk. This is a clean rose musk fragrance. It doesn't smell feminine on a guy at all. Rose on a man mainly to me smells most of the time like a very expensive citrus. That's how it comes across off of 
you. Ah, and you basically smell like you came out of the shower. Amazing. Montal Intense Roses Musk. Try this one out. And the next rose fragrance is Cajal Lamar. This is rose musk with a fruity pineapple. That is what this one is. So it's fruity, rosy and musky at the same time. And this is amazing on a man's skin. So rather than an old grandma's rose, get the new clean freshest kind of a rose fragrances. Try this one out. Okay, next one you should get is Yves Saint Laurent Kouros. I know a lot of you guys love that fragrance, but it's, it's a guy's thing. Um, women don't like it. We all don't like it. Maybe the ones that, that, that were born in the 80s or something like that. <laughs> if you want to attract some grannies, then yes, wear Kouros. If you want to attract the younger ones, but still have that old school masculine-ish kind of a vibe in a fragrance, then get this one, Drakkar Intense. This has an old school vibe, but it's more, it's more fresher. Kouros is more like spicy and disgusting. And this one is like, ooh, sexy manly out of the shower fresh. But then 80s man out of the shower because it has an old school vibe, but then they have put it in a new jacket for us women to enjoy. So instead of Kouros, get Drakkar Intense. Okay, next one you shouldn't get is because it is for a very specific man that it works. To be honest, this fragrance, you have to be attractive for it to work. If you're not that an attractive guy, then don't wear this because it's, it, it's not gonna make you any more attractive. It is what it is, sorry. Tom Ford Ombre Leather. This fragrance is just mainly a leather. If you like leather, then get this one. Superz Budapest Gamzat the Wolf. This is also very leathery. The same kind of a leather that is in Ombre Leather is in here, but but they have made it smoother, more likable. What you get is Tom Ford ombre leather, leather jacket with a fruity shisha, smoky fruity shisha. So if you would mix that together, you would get Gamzat the Wolf. And then it is much more enjoyable because there is some fresh fruity sweetness added to it instead of just leather. And again, on supers.com, I got a 10% discount for you guys, Curly 10. Oh, this is super good. Don't buy. Armaf Club de Nuit Intense Man. Yes, listen, this fragrance is just mainly hyped that this is the best Creed Aventus clone. It is not. The first 20 minutes, you smell like a rotten lemon. So you have to go through the 20 minutes before it to smell nice. And there are many clones out there that you don't have to go through that 20 minutes. So why get, get Armaf Club de Nuit Intense Man? Plus they have upped the price than what it's worth for. No, get Get Afnan Supremacy, not only intense. This is like Aventus mixed with Subbing Up and made more manly. That's what it is. The best Aventus clone, like it smells almost exactly the same without a dirty lemon note, is Al Haramein La Venture. Or get the more fruitier version of it, La Venture Intense. Or my favorite Aventus clone at the moment is Rehan Imperia. This is the most masculine Aventus clone out there and the cheapest of them all. So instead of getting the most hyped one because all the reviewers talk about it, no, go for the best smelling one. Don't follow the crowd, don't be a sheep, have your own brain, do your own thing, do your own research. So get one of these instead. Okay, the next fragrance you shouldn't get. And I know a lot of people love this fragrance, but it is Amouage Interlude Men. I am sorry, listen, it is not because I don't like the fragrance. I love how it smells, but I can never see myself wearing it. No, it is so not versatile to wear. I can only see that fragrance maybe work in a suit and tie kind of an occasion. That's why I wouldn't recommend it to you. Mostly what I have with this fragrance, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the art. It smells really good actually, but you can't wear it. And I know that a lot of women don't like it. Instead, get this one. Boss Bottled Elixir. Yes, you have more chance on compliments and that people like your smell with this one. It is like a Marsh Interlude Men in a designer fragrance and it made it super likable. Yay! <laughs> And it's way cheaper. That is this. Get this one. Next fragrance you shouldn't get is Roja's Elysium. I have talked about this fragrance in the past and said, get this, it's amazing. But then I've got a lot of negative feedback 
coming towards me because people said, Curly, how can you... Yeah, I have sweatpants on. <laughs> but people said, Curly, how can you recommend us this fragrance because it just doesn't last long. So, on many people, this fragrance, I think it goes for $300 or something like that, it doesn't last that long. So if you are spending a lot of money on a fresh fragrance, you want it at least to last and project for a long time. And the fragrance that goes a little bit into that kind of a direction is Sospiro Vibrato. This one lasts, this one projects, citrusy, grapefruit, fresh-ish kind of a fragrance, this one. Try this one out. And the next fragrance you shouldn't get is a Mason Francis Kurchan Baccarat Rouge. Now, I don't understand why you would buy this fragrance because it, it's mainly a molecule. That's what it is. There are a lot of clones of that fragrance. I never really understood the hype. But if I think of it as a, as a fragrance note and then something is built on top of it to make it better, then get this one. Centologia Synergy. Yes, think of a fruitier, a manlier aquatic Baccarat Rouge. That is what this one is. Ooh. This one gets stronger with how longer I have this bottle, actually. But get this one. This one is 10 times better. And if you want a complete different Baccarat Rouge, like also they have built something else on top of it, mainly a smoky Arabian vanilla cookie, then get this one, Arabian Stonka. Whoa, this one is monstrous, gets a lot of compliments from the ladies, and is just 10 times better and worth the money. So these two fragrances are better, get these instead. All right, guys, and I think that was the whole list of what I made. <laughs> it was a long list, but don't get these fragrances or just try them out on Sunsplit. See if you like them. And don't forget to use my code CURLY for a 10% off, but I would definitely recommend you to try the ones that I have recommended to you. All right, sexy, dirty bastards. This was the fragrance video of today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know 10 fragrances that you hate the most, because I also want to know what you you really hate because I'm gonna check them out and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye bye.